Just two hours ago, I finally finished Star Wars Visions, season one, if there are even gonna be any more seasons after that. And while I will be doing a completely separate review on the series itself and my opinions about it, I think that I should talk about what I think Star Wars Visions should be in terms of Lego. But before we get into the video, I just wanna quickly tell you about my new membership program on my YouTube channel. It is completely revamped and renewed. You guys will now get access to videos early, starting at the $5 benchmark, and get access to exclusive mock behind the scenes time lapses starting at only $2. On top of that, you will also be getting exclusive badges during live streams, as well as exclusive emojis and other little goodies along the way. So if you are interested in getting some brand new perks for this channel, please do consider checking it out. You'll see the little join button right by the subscribe button on my channel homepage. Thank you all for considering. Now let's get to the video. So Star Wars Vision was one of the more questionable decisions on the part of Lucasfilm. And I know that it had a lot of controversy surrounding it. A lot of Star Wars fans thought it was a bad idea to bring Star Wars into the anime medium. They don't really think that it was a great art form to showcase Star Wars. And I just want to say straight off the bat, I thought it was a genius idea on Lucasfilm's part to get anime creators to do more Star Wars content. In my opinion, it's more the merrier for Star Wars. I've always been a big proponent of expanding the variety of Star Wars media, whether that's comic books, novels, TV shows, and whether those TV shows are animated or live action as well as other types of movies, again, whether it's animated or live action. I do draw the line at musicals though. I pray every night that won't happen. I'm gonna say straight off the bat, I am not a big fan of anime. And it's not because the anime style is weird or anything like that, but it's really because of the plot of most animes. In some cases, I do think the art style of anime can be a bit cheesy and a little bit almost childish. But as a whole, I think anime is actually a very beautiful style of animation. And what I loved about Star Wars Visions is that they were getting rid of the kind of bad plots of a lot of animes. Now I'm sure there are gonna be plenty of you weebs in the comments telling me, well, you didn't you need to watch One Piece, you need to watch whatever this anime is, and you'll love the plot for that. Like, I probably won't. I think Star Wars is maybe one of the only mediums in which I would actually like to see anime because the plot is something that I actually enjoy. But because of anime's art style, I really don't think that it should be put into Lego form. Or rather, I don't think you really can put it into Lego form. If we take a look at the original 2008 animated Clone Wars series Lego sets, we can see that they really tried to copy the art style of the Clone Wars animated TV show to their Lego figures. And while I don't personally mind it, I know a lot of people have problems with the style of faces that are on these characters, especially Emperor Palpatine. And I just think the art style of anime doesn't really translate well into toys. I mean, I could kind of see it in action figures, but certainly not Lego. And just like the 2008 Clone Wars series, I think that Star Wars visions and anime in general just can't be translated well onto a Lego minifigure's face. One problem is there's just not that much surface area to work with on a Lego minifigure's face, but I think the main problem is the shape. The rounded nature of a minifigure's head is just not the same as an anime character's face. If we take a look at a lot of anime characters, the style is very sharp edges and a lot of triangles, squares, a lot of corners on their faces. You just can't translate that at all to minifigures. In my opinion, some of the dumbest looking minifigures is when they try and add these really defined cheekbones or wrinkles or forehead lines onto minifigures. It's because the minifigure's faces are round. It just doesn't translate well. And I think the stylistic choices of how anime is drawn is also very, very hard to replicate in builds itself. I just think that LEGO absolutely failed trying to create sets based on Star Wars Visions because of the artistic freedom that the animators had. There are examples in Star Wars Visions of razor thin or super rounded ships in Star Wars Visions that just can't be translated into LEGO because of their pieces. And I don't think LEGO is ready to make a bunch of brand new parts for Star Wars Visions. And this brings me to my next point, is that Star Wars Visions is more underground than it is mainstream. Yes, it is a part of Star Wars, but it's very niche. There are not a lot of families sitting around the television waiting to see the brand new Star Wars Visions TV lineup. I think Star Wars Visions was primarily created 
to bring anime lovers into the Star Wars universe. And might I say, I think they did a very successful job at that. We take a look at The Mandalorian, that is a much more mainstream show. And that's why it got Lego sets. Even Bad Batch is more mainstream than Star Wars Visions. And so far, they've only gotten one set based on the show. I just don't see Star Wars Visions being popular enough for LEGO to actually sell sets based on the television show. And I think LEGO recognizes this. I just don't think enough LEGO fans will actually connect to LEGO Star Wars Visions sets because they're just not familiar with the TV show. They're just not into it. And I think LEGO elected not to do Star Wars Vision sets because it's not a real show. It's nine episodes made by nine different anime studios with nine completely different plots. The episodes range from 13 to 20 minutes. The plots aren't that deep. You don't really connect to the characters as much as you would with a seven season television show like The Clone Wars. So you, the viewers aren't really as invested in those characters as other TV shows that Star Wars produces. Now I'm not saying the storyline in some of the Star Wars Visions episodes aren't good. There are actually a lot of them that I really, really like. I just think that since we're only gonna see these characters once, why would LEGO ever create a set about them? Maybe if there was a full-fledged anime show made by one studio, all about the same characters, has the same storyline, then, then maybe LEGO would make sets about it. But I just think based on the structure of Star Wars Visions, there isn't really any room to make sets. I just want to make it clear, I do not think that LEGO shouldn't make Star Wars Vision sets because Star Wars Visions is bad. I will come out with my own opinion on Star Wars Visions and I think a lot of you will be surprised. I just think that Star Wars Visions just doesn't translate well into LEGO Star Wars and I really hope that LEGO doesn't attempt to do that. However, based on LEGO's response to Star Wars TV shows like The Bad Batch, I don't think we have to worry about LEGO actually wanting to make LEGO Star Wars Visions sets. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you disagree with me, please let me know down below. If you wanna see some more short form opinion videos like this, please drop a like and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I come out with my Star Wars Visions opinions video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Again, please do check out my memberships on YouTube. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye.